Katie inadvertently revealed that Meghan Markle still maintains a connection with Carl Larson, the organizer of the royal celebrity tour that ventures into Montecito's residences. Despite Prince Harry's aspirations for a peaceful life in America, the influx of tourist buses orchestrated by Meghan Markle threatens to disrupt that dream. The Duke relocated to Montecito to escape the relentless media attention after stepping back from royal duties in the UK. However, the guided tour, which costs £958 for a group of six, offers participants the chance to explore many of the Sussex's preferred hangout spots in their adopted hometown. In an unexpected twist, these tours are promoted online as the Royal Celebrity Tour of Los Angeles and Montecito and are managed by a photographer affiliated with Meghan, named Carl Larson. Larson asserts that Meghan Markle endorses the tour, which encompasses routes close to the Sussex's 11 million pound residence, Meghan's favored shops and dining establishments, and even the polo club where she and Harry shared a kiss the previous year. Tourists will also pass by the homes of other celebrities like Katy Perry and Cameron Diaz. In Los Angeles, they'll get a glimpse of Meghan's former school. A source close to Katy Perry indirectly criticized Meghan Markle as she interacted with a private puppy while shaking hands with Carl Larson, suggesting that the tranquility of Montecito was disturbed a month ago. Montecito primarily consists of gated communities where the affluent and famous reside making it challenging for outsiders to observe anything. The tourists can only view a house when Meghan personally opens the gate, allowing access. Carl Larson seems to be the orchestrator of this tour, and Meghan appears to relish being the focal point of attention. One might speculate that the Harcourts are contemplating a similar endeavor to Balmoral, although the true nature of their plans remains unclear. However, other Montecito residents might not welcome this development, potentially framing it as a severe invasion of privacy or an opportunity to associate their names with Katy Perry and Cameron Diaz. The number of locations a tour can cover is limited, and envisioning a bus full of eager tourists arriving at the bar of a luxurious hotel where Meghan entertains seems challenging. Some suggest that Larson and Meghan should collaborate on a different venture. Critics find the pricing for this tour exorbitant, hinting at Meghan's involvement. Larson subtly suggests that valuable information can be obtained by participating in the tour, albeit without stating it explicitly. Perhaps only a few individuals will take the trip to provide reviews, and it may fade into obscurity afterward. Many view this as a waste of time, money, and intellectual energy. The advertisement boasts of being the sole individual privy to the truth about Meghan Markle's relationship with her father, leading up to her marriage with Prince Harry in 2018 as well as having an open channel of communication with Meghan's camp and the rest of the Markle family. Meghan is apparently preparing to launch a significant initiative in the coming days. She has claimed a yet-to-be-launched Instagram account under the name Meghan and has been increasingly comfortable in front of the cameras recently, according to an inside source who spoke to Page Six. This new venture promises to be surprising and is expected to deviate from conventional expectations, aligning with Meghan's persona.